Hi class, my name is Ms. Hernandez along with Rosalinda, Dylan, and Matthew and we're going to be talking about the albino Hungarian banded artwork. Let's begin. I have here a picture of Arthur. The reason why I put Arthur actually, I thought it was a cool idea that um, Rosalinda brought up because of the fact that Arthur resembles that of an artwork. There might be maybe one or two thing, little things that might be missing due to it being a cartoon but it's got some physical resemblance. The sparse of their bodies, it's coarse, their back is uh, arched and they seem to have a snout at the end of their long narrow face but they also have ears like a rabbit, a whip feet like a duck, claws like a bear and the tail of a kangaroo. Its tongue, it resembles that of an anteater. But the cool thing about it is is that they don't even belong to their family tree at all which makes the aardvark truly one of a kind animal. Next we're going to be moving on to where they originate from. Aardvarks live throughout Africa south of the Sahara. Their name comes from South Africa's African's language and means earth pig. A glimpse of the aardvark's body and long snout brings the pig to mind. Aardvarks are nocturnal. They spend the hot African food, uh, afternoon holed up in a cool um, in a cool underground burrow dug with their powerful feet, which they use their claws that resemble small spades. Aardvarks are insectivores, which are insect eaters. They like to eat ants and termites. After sunset, aardvarks put their claws to good use in acquiring their favorite food, which, like I've mentioned, termites. Aardvarks have an excellent sense of smell, which they use to find food, and wonderful have a wonderful hearing, which they used to keep from becoming food, and something that I found very interesting is that their eyesight is poor during the daylight. Um, while foraging in grasslands and um, forests, aardvarks are also called ant bears. They may travel several miles at night in search of large earth termite mounds. Actually, a hungry aardvark digs through the hard shell of a promising mound with its front claws and uses its long, sticking, worm-like tongue to feast on the insects within. It uses a similar technique to raid underground um, and a, at nest. When, food, when the food is scarce, they are forced to and will eat other soft body insects or wild melons. The aardvark's entire body is built around eating termites. Their strong sh uh, shovel-shaped claws are hard enough to break through the outer crust of a termite mound. Their one and a half foot sticky tongue can extend down tunnels and chambers, lapping up the insects inside, which I thought it was pretty cool. There's, uh, uh, one more thing is, is that their head is elongated and its snout has hairs and fleshy folds that can uh, close. What it does, it closes, keeping it the dirt, dust, and insects out while eating with their long rabbit like um, well and then also I'm sorry when they're eating kinda like their nose kinda shuts off so none of that dirt can go in but what's so interesting is that even when they're eating their ears are kinda like like I was mentioning before their, their long rabbit ears actually rotate backwards listening to any sign of approaching danger when confronted with a particular large mound the aardvark will stand on its back legs bracing itself with a thick tapering tail such that of a kangaroo would uh, next thing I put in here is a picture of an aardvark which is basically just kinda hiding away in this um, cool little spot one more thing about the aardvark is that they are some fierce fighters. Um, like I've mentioned, they have huge claws that are as dangerous as weapons. Some of their enemies include lions and leopards, hyenas, pythons. Um, these are most of the ones that are their major threat to them. But they are some fast runners. Even when they're faced with danger though, um, their skin is so tough, it's extremely tough, that it actually protects them from the bites and stings of those prey. And here's just a couple of pictures of the hyenas and the aardvark um, in action. We're going to be moving on to the breeding. A single youngster is born during the winter months. They're blind, hairless at birth, 
and the young ant bear is born in a maternity den where it remains alone um, with a female returning uh, from time to time to nurse it. After about two to three months, the youngest may accompany the mother on highly for um, forages, and at six months old, the youngster can actually dig for itself. It is uh, not known how long the youngster stays with the mother, but they are not fully mature until the age of two. We're going to move on to some uh, fun facts that I found. Um, of course, we've already mentioned that they're insectivores. Their lifespan is about 23 years old. They're about 20, uh, 43 to 53 inches, and their tail is about 21 to 26 inches. They weigh approximately between 110 and 180 pounds. I put a little bit of the digi nose, which I always like. Um, an aardvark's tongue can actually be up to 12 inches long, and it's so sticky to, that it helps extract termites from the earth mound. Uh, earth mound. They're they're actually the size relative to that of a six foot man, which is pretty tall. Aardvark is the first word in your in your English dictionary. Another nickname for the aardvark is the ant bear, and a Onvark's claw are, are as strong as a pig's axe, which is pretty dangerous. Now, class, um, now that we have talked a little bit about what an Onvark is, where it comes from, what it likes to eat, um, who its sprays are, and everything, we are actually going to do a project. Um, I might consider doing it a partner project. I haven't decided yet, but what we're going to do is we're actually going to construct an ant mound. And within this ant mound, you're going to show me and demonstrate me what the aardvark does to hunt for its prey. Um, you will also use, we can use raisins to kind of resemble the ants or whatever you want to use in this project. We can use clay to kind of mold the ant mound. Along with this, what I'm asking is just a small little paragraph to kind of explain to me in detail what this animal does to hunt for its prey. Um, make sure that you punctuate and you use your grammar properly because I will be checking for that. And any extra little things that you want to add, you might get some extra extra points just for working so hard. Um, at the end of it all, we will come together at the end of the week. We will present these to the entire class and just bring everybody's ideas to what everybody has learned from this lesson. Um, again, um, this concludes our lesson. Once again, my name is Ms. Hernandez along with Rosalinda, Matthew, and Dylan. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you.